Congratulations to you, the class of 2020, in what is certainly the most extraordinary send-off of my 30 years at Stanford. These flowers are not just a fake Zoom background, by the way. I can't tell you how often in my role as Dean, I appreciate the fact that the School of Engineering is full of, well, engineers. Engineers are problem solvers. They're collaborative, optimistic, and they get things done. Those traits will serve you especially well in the coming months and years. I feel confident that whatever path you choose, you will make Stanford proud as you put your engineering mindset to work in helping the world recover and grow stronger. Go to it and congratulations again. In my role as Civil and Environmental Engineering Department Chair, I am delighted to have this opportunity to congratulate each one of you, our graduates of 2020. We look forward to watching you become the next generation of leaders and change makers. Our graduates help protect our planet and make our urban infrastructure more resilient, healthy, and sustainable. Please know that our department is so very proud of you. And a special shout out to the many of you I have advised or had in my classes. I will miss you, but I wish you the very best as you start this next stage of your lifelong adventure. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Well, this is quite a year to remember. Hopefully in time we'll remember it, not just as a year when we couldn't be on campus to celebrate your graduation together, but as a time when the world paused, when we all got 2020 vision to appreciate what's really important. As civil and environmental engineers, we all play a vital role. As the pandemic pause button is lifted and things restart in the coming weeks and months, I think there'll be tremendous challenges and opportunities for all of you. I wish you all the best. I hope we see you back on campus again sometime. And in the words of Steve Jobs from Stanford graduation a few years ago, stay hungry, stay foolish. Hey everyone, I wanted to share my congratulations and encouragement as you wrap up your studies here at Stanford. While it's not quite the circumstances that you or I expected when you received your letter of admission, I think you'd certainly agree that your time here flew by. It certainly did for me. When he opened the university on October 1st, 1891, Stanford's inaugural president, David Starr Jordan, told the incoming class that Stanford is hallowed by no traditions, it is hampered by none. Its finger posts all point forward. In the years to come, don't be hampered by hallowed traditions or doing things the way that everyone says they must be done. Whether it's building a railroad through the wild American West or trailblazing new knowledge and practice in our field today, being out in front is what it means to be part of the Stanford family. My colleagues and I are so proud of everything you've accomplished and can't wait to see what you do next. So in the words of President Jordan, today your finger posts all point forward. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best of luck. Dear class of 2020, you have reached a major milestone. As civil and environmental engineers, you now have the skills and knowledge that are urgently needed to protect our environment and to build more sustainable and resilient infrastructure, cities and buildings. By completing your degree during these challenging times, you have also shown that you have the perseverance needed to accomplish great things. I can't wait to see where you will go from here, but for now I want you to celebrate and to truly enjoy this moment. Congratulations. Congratulations on your graduation from Stanford. I want to leave you with two thoughts. One is don't fret too much about the lack of the culminating events like commencement and other events. In 20, 10 or 20 or 30 years, you won't remember those events so much as the totality of your experience at Stanford. And the totality of your experience at Stanford is why you chose to come here in the first place. You wanted to change the world and you, you knew Stanford could help you do that. Well, the world needs you. Welcome to the real world. Congratulations. Hi everyone. Congratulations on earning your degree. This is what I usually look like at graduation. Um, your degree represents an enormous accomplishment. Uh, so many challenges you've been through in all of your years, successes, maybe some failures. You stayed focused, you got through, you got through a lot, um, especially this year. And I wish you all the best as you move on, um, build your post undergraduate or postgraduate life. Um, please stay in touch. Know that you have an enormous Stanford family rooting for you. Um, always happy to hear from you and be sure to thank anyone and everyone that helped you along the way, including yourself. Be good to yourself, go celebrate, and I just wish you all the best. Congratulations. Dear civil and environmental engineering graduates, congratulations. You've persevered, you've overcome obstacles. This has been one of the toughest years 
uh, in history of Stanford University uh, and other universities around the world. And you have finished, congratulations. This is uh, really an accomplishment. Uh, please take this opportunity to keep your eye on the ball uh, in terms of your future. Uh, try to maintain or to, to try to solve the large scale problems that we face in this world, uh, in both the natural environment and the built environment. Uh, you are our future. We rely on you. We depend on you. Uh, we are confident that you will succeed. Um, please keep positive, stay safe, and we wish you the best for the future. Thank you very much. Dear CEE graduates, it is my great pleasure and privilege to offer my warmest congratulations to you and your families on reaching this wonderful milestone. I'm truly grateful for having you in our lives at Stanford, and I wish you all well as you leave. As civil and environmental engineers, you are uniquely qualified to be leaders in the larger arenas that we live our lives and to be proactive and involve members of society at large. More than ever, our society needs people with the wonderful blend of technical talent and social empathy that you possess to rise to the top as leaders. I urge you to pursue our noble profession with great passion and vigor, always with great responsibility and with a few well-taken risks for good measure. In the words of the immortal Bob Dylan, may you stay forever young. Congratulations on completing your degree in civil and environmental engineering. Even though we are facing unprecedented challenges, I'm very optimistic about our future because you will be bringing your vision, your passion, and your knowledge about creating a better built environment in the world. And we will all be better off because of that. As they say, you can check out of Hotel Stanford but you can never leave. All the best for your future. Cheers. The world's been turned upside down, but that's okay. It doesn't mean